Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to solve a system of equations using inverse matrix. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Uh, solve the linear system of equations. Use, uh, we will use inverse matrix. So this uh, solution. So this equation, uh, system of equation can be written in the following form. So one is the coefficient of x in the first equation. Then coefficient of y is also one. Coefficient of uh, z in first equation is one. And then coefficient of x in the second equation is 1. Coefficient of y in the second equation is 2. Coefficient of z in the third equation is 3. I mean, in the coefficient of z in the second equation is 3. Coefficient of x in the first equation is 1. Coefficient of y in the third equation is 4. And coefficient of z in the third equation is 9. So this is one matrix. Then the other matrix is, can be written as X, Y, and Z. And that is equal to the matrix. And this is just one column matrix, 6, 14, and 36. So this we can think of as matrix A the coefficient matrix times x, matrix x, which consists of x, y, z, is equal to, we can call it uh, c, constant terms. Okay. So, if we divide by matrix A on both sides, we get matrix x, the solution, is equal to matrix A to the power of minus one times C. Okay, so this is the inverse matrix. So since we know A, we can find A inverse easily. Okay, so let me create some space first. So we will type in our calculator key second button and then x minus one button then highlight edit in the top row okay and then number one okay so second x minus 1, then highlight edit in the top row, then number 1, make it a 3 by 3 matrix, okay, so make matrix A as a 3 row by 3 column, so you type 3 by 3 and enter, and then enter the matrix A information in matrix A, which is one, one, and one, then one, two, and three, and then one, four, and nine. That's your matrix A, okay? So maybe I should erase this uh, nine. Put it a little bit on the side over here. That's your matrix A. Done? Okay. Now we need to find A inverse. So how do I do that? Second, calculate put the off and then on again. And then <clears throat> create some space.
Okay. So type in your calculator, actually second button, then X minus one button, then number one. You will get matrix A in your calculator, and then you press the X minus one key, X minus one key. This will put the exponent minus one and hit enter. Okay, so uh, second x minus one, number one key, and then press the x minus one key, a minus one, and hit enter. So you'll get the a minus one, the inverse of a. So basically, a inverse that matrix is. 3 minus 2.5, 0 0.5 in the first row, and then minus 3, 4, and minus 1. And third row is 1, 1, then minus 1.5, and 0 0.5. Okay. So this is A inverse. I will put this A inverse inverse of A matrix in matrix B in my calculator. How do I do that? So I'll do second X minus one, then edit, and then number two. This will get Matrix B, make it a three by three matrix and enter matrix B as, so matrix B, enter this information, is three minus 2.5, 0 0.5, minus three, four, and minus one, and then one minus 1.5, and 0 0.5. Okay, that's your matrix B. Okay, so, so we do second X minus one, <clears throat> second X minus one, then edit, then we select number two, make it a three row by three column, and we put this okay now we have to after we put the information in for calculator in matrix b a inverse is in matrix b i will have to so I'll go up a little bit okay okay remember your six 14 and 36 is the constant matrix. Okay, the matrix on the right hand side, one column, three rows, and it is the constant matrix. So the inverse matrix when multiplied by constant matrix C will give you the solution X, Y, and Z. So we have to enter matrix C as a three rows and one column. So what do we do? And it's six, 14, and 36. So let's move up. Okay. So again, now you do second, then X minus one, then edit, then number three. It's okay. So Second, X minus one, edit. And then we are going on number three, which is C matrix. So make it, um, so matrix C, make it a three row, three rows by one column. 
Okay. So three, the first number is three because that's a row. Enter one. Three rows and one column. And enter the information eight. Sorry, six. Six, 14, and 36. So matrix C is six, 14, and 36. Okay. Now we are going to multiply matrix B times C. So to get the solution, let me create some space here. To get the solution, to get the solution matrix. Matrix. Multiply. B times C, which is identical, which is, sorry, which is identical to, identical to A inverse times C. Okay, so let's do that. <clears throat> How will you do that in a calculator? Second off, okay, then on. First thing in the calculator is uh, is second x minus one, and then number two. We'll put matrix B over here. Let's put it over here in the side matrix B. Okay, and then do second, and uh, then do multiplication. After the matrix B, we will use the multiplication sign. Okay. Then we will press second. X minus one. Number three. And this will put matrix C over B. So let's do that. Second. X minus one. Number two is matrix B. Multiplied multiply by. So press the multiplication sign. Then second, x minus one, number three, which puts matrix C and hit enter. So matrix B times matrix C and then enter. So this leads to this, enter, and you get your solution, which is the solution matrix is, so we can write, let me create some space. Remember, X is X is actually X, Y, and Z, and that came out as one, two, and two. Let me erase this and write it nicely. One, two, and three. So that means X is one, Y is two, and Z is three. That's your solution. So what did I do? First, I wrote matrix A in the calculator. Then I found the inverse of the matrix A, which I put in matrix B in the calculator. Then I wrote the constant term in matrix C, which is a single column and three rows because there are three numbers on the left right hand side which is the constant term so matrix c got the information then i will multiply a inverse which is in matrix b now times the constant matrix and i got the solution as one two three so i'll stop here today if you have any question comments you can always give me a call or I mean, write me an email or write me a note and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends if you like it. 
so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.